right, I'm in Goldsway, Texas. I'm pretty sure this is the old jail. So let's see, this is, uh, this is the first structure built in Mills County uh, by newly organized county before county seat was chosen. So it says State Historical Survey Committee. And I, it's got bars up there, so I'm pretty sure this is a jail. So, all right, I'm gonna walk over here and this is the courthouse. It's probably still functional. It's pretty nice. There we go. Sorry for seeing the floor there. Very nice tree here. Uh, so this is probably the courthouse and this is Mills County. So here is the town square, um, you know, little buildings. So anyway, this is Goldsway, it's Texas. Goldway, can't say it very well. That is a pretty courthouse, but we actually have some that are much prettier. This one's actually pretty large, no bigger than this town is, so it's a pretty small town. Here's kind of a side view of this. It doesn't say that it was a jail, but since it has bars on it and it's next to the courthouse, which is commonly done, that's most likely what it was. It's not functional anymore, I'm sure. So, um, there's some, here's a kind of a side view of the courthouse. And there's a really pretty tree there. And that, that's a mesquite tree. That's uh, just a, you know, a native tree to Texas. I believe it's native, but it's, they've, they've been around a long time if they're not native. But um, they um, just grow wild in Texas. So they make uh, really good, nice wood for burning and barbecues. Um, typically a lot of people barbecue with mesquite wood. So, all right, well, there's the courthouse again. I'm making a second little short video on the courthouse. Okay. Texas Hill. I'm waiting for the cars well, to go Well, this is by. just a sign I'm stopped on the highway. This is a very famous cafeteria in Texas. Um, it's in Brownwood, Texas. I'm just taking a picture of the sign because I may not pass it. So, this is an Allsup's. It's one of our common uh, convenience stores. Um, we also have a lot of 7-Elevens and there's others can't think of them right now, but this is one of, one of our, you know, more common. It's about the biggest traffic light I've ever seen, and this is Brownwood, oh, Texas. It's a little park in uh, Brownwood, Texas. It's real pretty. I'm gonna do a little bit more of it in a second, but I'm gonna move to do it. So, I'm in Brownwood, Texas. This is uh, Ben Lednicki, I don't know how to say it, park. It's a real pretty little park right inside of Brownwood. This is the, the Pecan Bayou, and it's real pretty. Um, and there's a dam. Uh, this has picnic tables. There's quite a few people out here picnicking. It's a really good time to do that because it's not hot right now. So in Texas, it gets super hot. So. Uh, you got to do this stuff in the spring. Well, you can do it in the summer, but you're going to sweat. <laughs> okay, that's all of this. So, I'm inside my car. This is that same park. It's been Lidnicki Park. And this is alongside the Pecan Bayou. Uh, you can't see down in there because um, it's just in a picnic table. But it's a nice picnic table. Here's a little bit more of Brownwood, Texas. I'm parked at the Chick-fil-A getting a little bit of a late lunch so and i don't know what cash texas is it's probably a pawn shop well i'm still in brownwood texas i'm going slowly to get out of here this is about the biggest oversized load i've ever seen <laughs> it's really big it's bigger than a double wide mobile home half and everything else so it's kind of funny okay so as i said i'm in santa Ana, texas um some of these little buildings are functional that one over there, I'm not sure if it's functional or not, but would not be a bit surprised if that's not an old hotel. So, anyway, a lot of these little Texas towns are really quaint downtown, but they drive um, a lot. You know, people have gone to the big city because there's more work. You know, we don't do as much farming as we used to. So, you know, to be able to work you have to go to the big towns a lot of people have left these smaller towns this is an example of a very nice
Heights, Texas Roadside Park. This is outside of Ranger, Texas. This is in Eastland County. And I'm trying to hurry up and do this before a bunch of people come here. So maybe I can actually show you more without, you know, being interrupted. So, that photographing a bunch of people. Okay, I'm walking in. <clears throat> I'm going to point out this sign to you because <laughs> uh, uh, this is important. Okay. Yep, you don't get off the sidewalk here, especially right now because this is prime time weather for rattlesnakes. All right, there is a um, kitty club park. Okay, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go into the restroom. I don't need to use it, but I'm going to go in there. Show you how pretty it is. Uh, back here is truck drivers. I can park in the back parking lot. So this is the women's, of course, because I'm a women's. All right, go in here. Go boy, the lady. Okay, this is the... Um, this is the sink. It's got those automatic water. These are the stalls. These are kept clean because these have employees. This is a nice ceiling. Okay, I'm going back out. A little bench where you could do something. I don't know what, but anyway. Okay, so I'm going to go back out. I'm going to see if I can photograph inside, but I don't want to disturb anybody, so go see if I can do that. This is a storm shelter. Yep, this is what it is. So let me see if I can go inside. I'm going to actually turn it off and start again. Okay, now I'm inside the uh, rest stop. And we have all this uh, uh, stories. Uh, and that is this little here. This is the story of Eastland County, and I'll just tell you in a minute so I don't take up too much time, but it's called the, oh gosh, I'm sorry. It's, what was he it called? Old Rip. Okay, I had to get the name of the Old Rip thing, so here's a window looking out. There goes a van, so. Okay. About ghost towns and things. I'm not going to be in here just a real long time. Here's a vintage car, which is cool. And here it is, restroom clean. The employees working on it. There's um, here's a restaurant row. Uh, you know, vending machine. So, okay. Well, this is it. It's super nice. Um, let me tell you, here's an old, a really old um, uh, gas pump, so. Um, <clears throat> okay, well, let me tell you about the Eastland Toad thing. Well, I'll tell you that when I do an Eastland Toad video. <laughs> I mean, um, his old Rip, and old Rip was uh, a horn toad, and they buried him in a, like a time capsule. And then, like, a hundred years later, they opened him up, and supposedly he was alive. You know, people said he was alive, so I don't know if it's true or not. I mean, I think they think it's true, but anyway, so that's the old story of the Eastland, the old rip, and uh, here's some beautiful roses. Uh, really pretty. Let me smell them. Oh, they smell pretty good, too. Uh, so, anyway, that's the story of the old rip thing. And they put a time capsule when they built the Eastland County Courthouse, which I'll do a video in the future about that. So, here's some of the picnic tables. It's about 5.30 in the evening. And so, the sun's starting to kind of go down a little bit. Uh, these picnic tables are real nice. Anyway, about this particular um, roadside park, 
so actually they're called rest areas when they're this nice um, this is one of my son's and mine's favorite ones we always stop at this when we're going to my hometown which is Abilene Texas we always stop at this so it's one of our favorites the actual the one on the opposite side of the road which is the coming road is actually um, we like it better but this one's great too so yep we have Texas has some good roadside parks anyway I wanted to give you a sample of a really nice rest rest stop and uh, in my in my video I've got one of just your picnic area and they're pretty nice too all right well thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed my video so I didn't get a close-up of the play area for children here at the roadside park uh, it's super nice it really is and it's well maintained they keep the bathrooms clean and everything's just nifty all right i'm going to drive over here <clears throat> just fyi if you're not from texas um you can stay in or any texas roadside park overnight for 20 well 24 hours for free so just fyi i don't know how much sleep you'd get probably a lot of racket but um anyway so, I don't know what that building is. Anyway, I'm about to leave. I'm leaving, and I'm able to drive kind of slowly. Uh, for a while, there was no one there at the roadside park, but now there's a bunch of people can come up. So, I'm going to go over here and show you the little road going up. It's kind of cool. So, it's just going up toward the freeway. So, here's another roadside park. I'm in between Ranger and Weatherford, Texas. So this is another example of a roadside park. Roadside parks are fascinating, aren't they? Well, if you haven't been to Texas, you might want to know what they look like. Generally speaking, they're really pretty decent. Uh, they pick up the trash, you know, here's a trash can, sort of a trash can. Uh, some of them have grills um, this particular one doesn't i'm doing this from the car because i'm actually just kind of rolling along here so here's some i'm going to get up here and you'll see some pretty trees uh this is probably an elm tree right here uh, that we're coming up on Yeah, and I'm actually gonna start, stop this. I'm actually gonna stop my car. This tree, oh, that is pretty. Well, like I said, it's three trees, not one. So here's some other trees. Okay, um, this is what I actually wanna show you. Uh, this is the actual picnic table. Uh, they're pretty nice. This is a Plain Jane picnic area here. Uh, it doesn't have a restroom or anything. And, uh, but I mean, these, they're still nice and they're maintained. The state maintains them. Uh, this is nice. They're, most of them are covered and they're made of brick or rock or something and they're nice. All right. Well, that's all of this video. Hope you enjoyed the rolling backward rest stop video. <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching.